Hey everybody, what's up? I am Doc Hikari, bringing you episode 11 of Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Uh, two things I'm noticing. Uh, I did not play after the daily rewards reset last night, so I get that bonus. Good thing I claimed it now. And I have some notifications up here. Okay. That's strange. I don't know why it had to tell me that. Alright, so let's dive on into some verses. Hopefully today I'll be able to earn at least a couple of booster packs and then do a nice opening at the end. I'll play with my newer Psychic Flames deck. Hopefully have some success using that Charizard and Braxian GX Tag Team card that I acquired on Monday? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm having... I'm having some minor slowdown. I can't really figure out why. It should be good now. Yeah, my CPU usage just spiked, but it, it dropped after a minute. Not much of a choice, so I'll choose Cresselia, the only basic Pokémon in my hand, to be my active Pokémon. play Crushing Hammer in an attempt to thwart my opponent's Lapras. Unfortunately, it did not work out the way I wanted it to. And I think I'm going to retrieve Charmander and Garchomp and Giratina GX given it's available. Yes. And with that, my turn is finished. It's a neat looking Magikarp. I like it. That's really funny uh, that my opponent just did something very similar to what I did. Ooh, a Dragon-type Dialga GX. However, it still has the same attacks and energy requirements as the one that I have that's a Steel-type. It has different resistance and weakness. That's very interesting. I'm really hoping to get a double colorless energy, but... If Cresselia gets knocked out, that's what is. I'm just going to start getting Garchomp and Giratina GX ready to tear it up, pretty much. Okay, I get it. You have lots of trainer cards. <laughs> I'll confuse my opponent. I'll attach a fire energy to Garchomp and Giratina. Yeah, sometimes I treat um, Pokemon trading card game a lot like regular card games, you know, like a 52 card deck of cards. Uh, I just won't reveal my hand or my strategy until I feel it's time. And it works out for me. So... 
I keep doing it. Draw a prize card, and now if I get the appropriate energy, I'll be able to ready Charizard GX. Hmm. Okay, that sets me back a little bit, the fact that they're using that, but... I have other options. I'm thinking my biggest threat that I can damage at this point in time is Articuno. So I'll try and get rid of that. I cannot damage Caldeo GX because of pure heart. Prevent all damage from GX and EX attacks. I only have one Pokemon that will overlook that, and that's, um... Well, one GX Pokemon, and that's, uh... My Dialga GX Steel-type. See, uh, this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon, so... And now I'm not drawing energy cards. I'm kind of boxed in here. Alright, well, you could have well kept me from knocking out your Articuno, I think. Maybe not. Okay. At least I'll get a couple of points for the loss. What do we have here? Ah, Kaparaja V. The steel type elephant Pokemon. kind of scrambling here for something to do, anything to do, really. But, this turn, that's just not happening. So I'm running behind today. I think today's app is going to be a little short. I'm going to do what I can. Um, I'm predicting about 45 minutes. Yeah, that seems about right for the time I have. Ooh, I haven't seen that card before. Latios and Latios GX Tag Team. That's a pretty card. Yeah, no doubt I lost this one. So I'll probably just go ahead and use my other deck come next battle. I'm not having terrible luck with this particular deck, but I feel that it needs to be restructured just a little bit. 
Well, not that there's any point to it, but I'll use Lysander. And that's all I can do this turn. Yep, made zero difference. <laughs> well played. Defeat. I don't know why, right after I finished recording my other episode for today, Panzer Cat decided that he absolutely needed to be in this room with me for uh, the duration of this recording, so he's just quietly laying on the bed. Hey, it's Latrice again! I think they beat me last time. <laughs> yeah, I'll go first. Oof, not a great starting hand. But I'll try and make it work. Okay. Double colorless energy attached to Espeon and Deoxys GX tag team. And since I went first, that's about all I can do. <clears throat> Try a crushing hammer. Alright, that helped a little. And I'm gonna play Pokemon Fan Club to retrieve two basic type two basic psychic type Pokemon from my deck. And I could have gotten Poipole, but uh, that's another thing. I think I want to remove this GX Pokemon from this deck because uh, it's a bit of an outlier. And you have to discard energy just to attack, and uh, that does not work for my strategy. Not unless I load my deck up with two or three more Fisherman supporter trainer cards. I am going to resist putting Dialga GX on my bench. I'm going to save that fighting energy for the off chance that I draw Garchomp and Giratina GX at any point during this matchup and hope for the best. But what I really need right this second is a psychic energy. Then I'll at least be able to attack. What's happening, when you see me cursor off to the side there, I'm just checking OBS to see what my CPU usage is like, and making sure the recording is, you know, going smoothly. So perhaps you notice, you know, I do that often. Well, in an hour's time, anything can happen. So I just feel it's good to be diligent about what LPC is doing while I record.
Well, it's not ideal, but I'm gonna play Cynthia in hopes of <laughs> getting a psychic type energy. At least I drew two professors' letters. So, get a psi energy and a fighting energy this time. And let's start attacking. Let's get this battle going. Ah, good old stadium card, Rough Seas. Is it... Yeah, you can heal 30 damage from water or... Electric-type Pokémon once per turn. If I draw my stadium card, Skyfield, I can just knock that one right out of there. So, hopefully... That's okay, I've got a Pokemon Center lady. Let's add Rotom to my bench to increase the attack of Psychic Club. Play a Pokemon Center lady. And this time I'm going to retrieve two Steel Energy from my deck. Oh, I can only get one, so... A Steel Energy and a Psychic Energy it is. Draw a prize card. At least uh, that'll allow me to ready Buzzwool, Faramosa, and Buzzwool GX tag team. Should that card end up on the bench? Ordinary Rod. What's it do? Hold on now. Shuffle up to two Pokémon from your discard pile into your deck. Shuffle up to two basic energy cards from your discard into your deck. Okay. I see. <clears throat> Alright, you know what? I'm actually going to get Dialga ready to attack. Uh, I have other grass energy in my deck. And with Espeon and Deoxys only having 140 HP remaining, I need to think about the future. <laughs> I might be able to pull off 50 minutes. That's possible. Hopefully, Espeon and Deoxys GX Tag Team will not still be asleep next turn. Rexish. Cleaning your beans, dopey. And giving yourself a cat bath. Okay, an interesting move from my opponent.
and it's got me thinking. Hopefully I can draw trainer card switch to rectify that situation. But honestly, I'll just have to wait and see. Oh wow. I wonder if this person already finished the first tier of the Versus Ladder and obtained that Articuno that way. Alright, my turn again. Did not get the exact card I wanted, but I did draw Skyfield. So... That's something. Now the Oxus is knocked out, it's time to get Espeon and the Oxus tag team GX in the mix again. And I was really hoping I'd draw another Psychic type Pokemon there, but I'm not totally disappointed. I'm just gonna do everything in my power to not lose um, right away, if at all. Alright, another Psy Pokemon, and I can use that to retrieve a Pokemon Center Lady from my discard pile and place it back on top of my deck with Mind Report. That's Mewtwo's Poke ability. They just call them abilities now. But, once upon a time, that's what they were called. And that's the way it was. I can see that Latrice is not happy with me. <laughs> okay, what have you got going on? You gotta draw, draw, draw your cards, get that energy. Hmm. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll just make it Dialga GX then. I'll play Switch. That was a very lucky draw. Add Mewtwo to my bench, and as I said, use Mind Report to place Pokemon Center Lady back on top of my deck. And do Psychic Club for, I think, 160 damage? Yes, sir. And I guess since with Skyfield I've increased the amount of bench space, my opponent's like, okay, I'll... Ooh, what a pretty Suicune card. Okay, I'll get two more basic Pokemon out of my hand since I can bench them. 
Perhaps they don't realize what's going on. <laughs> I, I can't say, I'm not them. I predict Lap Lapras V being my last opponent. It's the only Pokemon Latrice has that has energy attached to it. Wow, 210 damage. That's insane. If I draw another Pokemon Center Lady or a Great Potion, then I'll be able to survive that next turn. Ooh, if this coin flip is successful, that'll work too. It did not work. <laughs> okay. Well... I guess I'll try and get another Pokemon ready to attack. That's my best course of action. That was a very good move on my opponent's part. Unless my opponent has another escape rope or a switch card that they can use this turn, I think I just secured my victory. Well played, Latrice. I actually, I'm gonna send you a friend request after this match because that was a lot of fun. It was very close. <coughs> Excuse me for that little throat clearing I just did there. Uh, friend request for trees because I think they cool and I've got a, another 20 minutes here so I think at most I'm gonna squeeze two more battles in Games 666. Clearly, they enjoy online gaming. I myself do. I like playing games with other people, whether it's competitive or co op. Well, that was a bad hand. <laughs> Alright, that's a little better. Wow. Uh, I think I could actually draw that very same hand my opponent had with my own deck. That's crazy. Oh, 
that was my hand. <laughs> okay. Okay, that makes a whole lot more sense. Who's a good boy? Yeah, you're a good boy. Panzer Cat. Okay, at a bit of a type disadvantage, but I think I'll be alright. Yeah, I'm gonna make this one the last one for today. Unless it's all of, you know, five minutes or less. Okay, time to play some Dirty Pool, because that's how my opponent is playing it. No, not really, I mean, they're legitimate strategies. I'm just leveling the playing field. And what I did, uh, for any of you new players out there who are trying to learn the ins and outs of the game, what I did was I used Switch to put Mewtwo on my bench to remove all status ailments, because status ailments only apply to active, not benched Pokémon. And then I used Delmize's Seaweed Grab ability to retrieve Switch from my discard pile enabling me to switch right back without having to discard any energy or anything like that. So, if my opponent does not draw another basic Pokémon in the next two turns, I might have a pretty good shot. Up, oh, no. Nope. That sets me back a ways. <laughs> Darn, 90 damage. Okay. Trying to think of my best move here. I think it's to get Delmize ready. Yes, because Delmize's buster swing, if I remember correctly, is not affected by resistance. Absolutely. Okay. So I can still turn this around. My opponent has one turn, this very turn that they're taking, to prevent a loss. Alright, it's Delmize's time to shine. Add a Psy Energy, add Sea Viper to my bench, wish a well played to my opponent, and take him out. Victory! Booster pack, booster pack, booster pack, booster pack. Give me a booster pack. Oh.
Oh well, at least I'm making progress on the versus rewards ladder. Oh, I thought I was 10 minutes further into recording. Okay, I'll do one more. And since I got a win streak going using this deck, I'm going to keep playing on that success. I am not going to make an attempt to pronounce that screen name or username because I don't want to butcher it. Alright, I guess I can do one more. <laughs> that always surprises me when somebody decides to quit just based off of their starting hand. Well, at least I can purchase another booster pack this episode. I am climbing up that rewards ladder, now that I've got a win streak going. I know how to pronounce Texeria, uh, but not so much the first part of that username, so I'll just call him Tex. Okay, I get to play first. I'll place Deoxys as my active Pokémon. And I'm gonna hold off on Mewtwo for a couple of turns. Hopefully, uh, once I use like a Pokemon Center Lady supporter card. That's that's what I like to do. I like to put Mewtwo on my bench then so that <clears throat> I get to use Pokemon Center Lady again. Texas thinking. I may... I may friend request this person. I like their deck. If I had, um, like that Latios GX, I would definitely have that in my deck. I think it's an awesome card. Hey, you okay, buddy? Oh, you want pets? Come here. Why don't you lay down in my lap? Lay down? Be good boy? Alright, I'm going to play Pokemon Fan Club. Let's see what I have available to retrieve from my deck. Yeah, I'm going to do Garchomp and Giratina, GX Tag Team, and Baramosa and Buzzwool, GX Tag Team. And that's all I can do for this turn, other than use Reflect. So I will. And you don't want to lay down, you just want to stand on my leg? <laughs> buddy. Who's a buddy? Oh, I have that, uh... Cur Curlia card in real life.
Oh, I thought I did. No, I don't have that one. I have one that looks very similar. Uh, the Pokemon is making a very similar pose, but it doesn't have all those, uh, gems and stuff in the background. Okay, I guess I'll do the fighting energy so that I can attack this turn. Oh, Delmize. I guess Delmize is a ghost type. I thought it would be weak against um, Psychic, but that's okay. Next turn, I'll knock it out. You wanna lay down, buddy? I know, I know. You get super excited. Panzer Cat. I love you too. Who's a good boy? I do have that Gallade card in-game. Alright, attach a Grass Energy to Pheromosa and Buzzwool, and attack with Psychic Corkscrew. Draw my first prize of the game. And it's looking like next turn... If Deoxys gets knocked, uh, knocked out, I'm gonna put Pheromosa and Buzzwall as my active. Ooh, Evolution's Mewtwo EX. That is some cool card art right there. Also, let's take a moment to appreciate this Oricorio GX. Is that... I thought it was a secret rare. Uh, I think it's just an ultra rare. I get them confused. I need to really figure out which is which. But it's not past the number of cards in the set, the numbering of the cards. So it's not a secret rare as far as I'm aware of. Okay. Let's try and make some lemonade out of this. <laughs> I need to draw an energy card next turn, or I could be in trouble. Hey, stop that. Stop that. I know you love rubbing your face on things, just not the computer, pal. Yeah, my hand is fine. Do that. Yes, this this opponent has a very similar deck strategy to the one that I've developed. It's fascinating. It's a little different, but... Definitely interesting in the ways that it's similar. It's just too bad I'm not getting the energy cards I need for Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team, because uh, I, I kind of view that as my ace. My ace card, if you will. Ooh, good flag. Definitely giving me a run for uh, a run for my money to turn a phrase. I, there's no money involved here. Look at that. A parallel hollow of the same Mewtwo that I use. Now that, they had to have gotten that from a booster because you cannot get that card 
in that form from the starter deck. The Battle Mind deck that I got this and the regular Hollow from. I know, you're a buddy. You're loving this, aren't you? Have anything you want to tell anybody? No? Sometimes he, uh, he meows, but he's a really quiet kitty. Another Mewtwo EX from XY Evolutions. And I guess I'll just place Garchomp and Giratina GX as my active Pokémon because, uh... It's a lot more likely that I'll get any energy card rather than grass and electric type energy. And if I lose, I lose. It happens. I'll still open two boosters at the end. So I'll play Cynthia. Which kind of helped me out. There's really no point in doing this, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah, let's see, um... Psychic Club does 30 more damage for each Psychic type on the back. So 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240... So 250 damage total? There's nothing I can do. Huh. There's just absolutely nothing I can do to thwart my opponent at this point. They are set up for victory. They have an amazing deck. When I have as many powerful psychic type Pokemon as Tex here does. Oh, there's an I before that X. Now I feel bad. I, maybe I did butcher their name after all. Um, I would love to build a deck just like that. So, I'll heal even though it's not going to do any good. Yeah, I couldn't have knocked out Gallade if I wanted to. Hey, you're, you're a little high energy for, for me right now, buddy. If you would have just laid down, that would have been fine, but you're crawling all over me. <laughs> yeah. No. Nuzzling my knee. Well played. Yeah, I'm going to send them a friend request. Oh. Okay. I am? <laughs> Is that true? Or did it just send the request the first time? I don't know. But it's booster pack opening time, so let's not focus on silly little details that don't really affect anything. <laughs> Alright, once again, I'm trying to complete the Unified Minds set, so I'll buy one of those boosters. Head on over to my collection. Start by opening this uncommon chest. Okay, five tokens, not a big deal, but... Wow, a Prism Star Hollow Rare Black Market Trainer card, a stadium card. So that's a nice pull from an uncommon chest. Let's open a Sun and Moon Team Up Booster. 
two new cards, Fairy Energy, a new Nidoran male psychic type, Cosmog, Magikarp, Kirk, 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 Pidgey, Grimer, Grimy Grimes, Cosmo, a Kangaskhan in a majestic looking forest, Return Label, a Parallel Hollow Morgan. You can play this card only if you discard Dana, Evelyn, and Nita from your hand. Look at the top 12 cards of your deck and attach any number of energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Well, if you have the other cards mentioned, the cards required to play it, that's quite a card, really. And a rare non-hollow Aerodactyl. Pretty cool card. I like it. Alright, time to open a Unified Minds Booster. Take that booster pack tearing sound. Cool, cool. A couple new cards. Very Energy. Swaddle. Scruppy. Wimpod. Slack off napping in a tree. Sassy Salandit. A weakness guard energy. Oh, okay, it removes weakness from a Pokemon. That's cool. Oranguru, I believe that's a new card in my collection. Blaine's Quiz Show. Parallel Hollow Tynamo. And last but not least. An Espeon and Deoxys GX Tag Team, which I already have, but now I have another, so that's cool, it's a great pool, and I'm in no way disappointed. Alrighty everybody, thank you for watching. This has been episode 11 of Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. I'm Doc Hikari, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Everybody stay cool, stay safe and have a great day. Peace.